Hello and welcome to Fast Track to Fitness. I'm Jyotsna John from the unit. And last episode, you learned the kettlebell clean. Today, we're going to continue that into a progression of the kettlebell clean and press. So to perform the clean press, you'll first need to get your feet on either side of the kettlebell and perform a clean, which is a movement which gets the kettlebell from ground to shoulder in one smooth movement using momentum from the hips. Once you get it to shoulder, you'll again perform another dip and another drive to get your kettlebell overhead. In order to do this, you'll need momentum again coming from the hips. Bad form, as always, includes picking up the kettlebell with a rounded back and, and not using momentum to get it up to your shoulder. But the other thing that people do with the press, they'll arch back and use their back instead. This is a strict no-no, it can affect your back, especially if you have no one supervising it. Usually, we combine the demonstrated exercise with one other exercise to make a routine of it. But the kettlebell clean and press is already full body. There's a deadlift, there's a clean, there's a press. So instead of actually combining with another exercise, we're just going to do a lot of them. Try and do a hundred clean and presses for time. 50 on the left side, 50 on the right side. See how you get along. If you can do it in under 10 minutes, you're pretty strong. <laughs> 